Alright, so what I'm going to do first, <laughs> I'm going to cut up, <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, this is a great cooking channel. I'm going to cut off the ends, but I can't do it one-handed. Oh, okay, cut off the ends. <laughs> so. The next thing I'm going to do is find my peeler. <laughs> Ta-da! I'm going to peel this. I never used to, but my aunt taught me. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it gets offended very easily. Of course, anyone would when you peel off their skin. So, <laughs> so I have pink Himalayan sea salt and some dill in here. I'm going to add some cold water. And then I'm going to slice this up and add it to it. With an eggplant this big, I cut it in half. I mean, it's huge. So, yeah. So, I'm putting the pieces in there. I'm still cutting. Put them in the salt and the uh, dill. Mix them around. And I'm, I'll finish the rest of this. Okay. It's got dill and Himalayan pink salt in it. And I'm about to add pepper. Look at these guys I got. Oh my gosh. Yes. So the big decision. Use that. Or use this. And I think I'm going to go with the olive oil. But the thing is. Um, I got to show you guys. Oh gosh. I just got oil in my hand. Alright. If you guys can find this. Either one of these. The cool thing is, okay, I'll, uh, I hate not having four hands. Oh, here we go. Okay. It's got, you can adjust it to small, medium, large, larger on both of them. Like you can just move that, that little tab. So I got these guys, I mixed them all up. I'm gonna add olive oil to the pan. <laughs> Okay, I got the panko in here. I got the oil in here. I didn't heat it up yet. I got them guys soaking in the water, and I'm going to put some eggs in here. I don't know if they're the best, but who knows? Tastes good to me. So, um, I added five eggs, because usually I add, like, not enough. And I always thank the Lord Jesus for all the food that he provides for us. So I'm going to mix these up. So we got the panko, the eggs, eggplants. Okay, so I got that, 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 and that. Turning this on now. When I'm a walking, I stop myself, and I'm so strung out. So I'm gonna like dry these out first because, of course, they're soaking in water, salt water, and dill. And I'm gonna dry them up very good. Look at this! Wow. Body speeds, I stain my sheets. I don't even know why. She's at the edge. She's starting to cry. All right. So we dry these guys out. I'll do this first batch. And, uh, to be honest with you, <laughs> I don't need tomato sauce with this stuff, man. Fried eggplant is awesome. Just by itself. Or cold or anything. Like, you just store it in the fridge and then eat it. It's, it's just great. Okay. Second layer. <laughs> Okay, third layer. Everybody's drying up. Everybody's good. Getting ready to go. Okay, first piece. Dipped in egg, dipped in the panko, put in the pan. Apparently the pan ain't hot enough yet, 
So we're gonna crank it up a tad bit. There it goes. I think it's almost not enough. So I'm going to get another plate ready uh, to put the finished ones on. Okay, it's pretty exciting. I got the plate ready for them to go on. And these guys are... You have to test it out, man. They're doing okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, so... That looks awesome. Okay, of course I got these layers left and that's what's going on now. Yeah, I have to. It should have enough salt on it. Woo! Mmm. Frickin' heaven. That looks done. Yeah. Oh my gosh. She's still beautiful. One because you left me and two. Two. Two for my family and three. Three. This is quite an adventure. <laughs> still working on this piece. Mmm. Alright, got time to go. These guys are going. Oh, babe. Oh, wow. This is why I'm not using my fingers. Because it's like all sticky and gooey and... Just pat it down. Throw them on top, pat it down, throw it in there. I think these guys are done. And now, like, a lot of people make um, eggplant parmesan or I don't freaking know what they make. All I know is this stuff is good. Oh, yeah. Smush and squish and get it on there and then throw it in. And that that is definitely done. Oh I wonder what It's a weird breakfast, I know. I'm a weirdo. I don't really sleep at night, so time means nothing to me. So I just do what I do. All right, over, over. <laughs> All right. This spatula thingy, or whatever this, the tongs would have been my fingers all stuck with this stuff. No thanks. All right. <gasps> Look at that. Oh yeah, beauty. Alright, <laughs> All right. this, I'm going to add some salt to it, this is the last batch, this got all clumpy, so I'm going to have to empty this and make new panko, and the oil is like just bubbly, and the panko ain't sticking, because it got all smushy. So I'll just be honest with you guys, like I always am. 
Yeah, I got all smushy. Like I could probably make some kind of matzo ball out of it or something. Uh, <laughs> so I got to get rid of this, and I don't want to waste it. I'm not that type of person, you know that. Okay, <clears throat> I added the pink sea salt on top of this. I, it's beyond delicious. Okay, so I got this batch left. Added new panko. I mean, oh my gosh. That is so good. And like I said, you can um, put it in the fridge. And then you can um, eat it cold, even. It's just like the best thing. Oh, man. I'll add a little more salt, but whatever, man. It's so good. Oops. Didn't mean to dip that part in there. Can I get just one kiss? I waited my miss, but I waited my whole life. All right, so almost done with this endeavor. And then whatever's left goes in the fridge and gets eaten all day. Just so good. Believe me, I can do it. Look. Uh, yeah. I just gotta hurry up. Just do it. Because nobody else is gonna do it for you, right? <laughs> so you just gotta do it. And this apparently d needs to be done quickly. It's bubbling. Alright. Oh my gosh, it was so good. It's so good. What part did I put salt on? Salt? Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah, you can make a parmesan or whatever you want out of it, but it's good. It's so good fried. Mm. This is looking good too, even though it's bubbly. I don't even know why it's bubbly. Yeah, I can't let it bubble over. That's when the wooden spoon comes into effect. Not allowed to bubble over the wooden spoon. A big of hope. Oh my gosh, so good. Plus, I was starving. Mm. When I'm in your bag. So I just gotta make these left if you think I can do it without killing myself and burning up the kitchen. Let's find out. Hmm. Wow. Can't even see what the hell I'm doing. Wait a minute, Mom. I'm gonna add it up. I'm gonna add it up. Oh, yeah. See what you got. Oh, my gosh. This is beautiful. All right. I managed not to kill myself. This thing here just didn't adhere, but whatever. It's 
still gonna be awesome. Okay. One more. <laughs> you think I can handle it? You think it shall survive? Let's get this stuff out of here. And then, yeah, I guess that's breadcrumbs. All right. <sighs> I might have to go primeval on this. Last night, I was reminded of just how bad it had gotten. Just last night, I was reminded of just how bad it had gotten and just how sick I had become. Things can change in this relationship. We rearrange, we've both been through some shit. <laughs> All right, what do I have to do? I think, I think I'm gonna make this last batch. Oh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna survive it. Might need some more breadcrumbs. Oh, come on, come on, let's do this. Very good to me. Me honestly. Holy crap. Need more breadcrumbs. <laughs> Just for like four more. Uh. Okay. I suppose I need to buy more breadcrumbs. It's empty. Live where all the empty things live. All right, here we go. Ugh. Verse, same as the first. Okay, it had gotten and just how sick I had become. Oh my gosh. We've been through some shit. I just want these things done. This is it. This is it. And you think I'm feeding a freaking army? No, I just feed my neighbors. <laughs> just an apartment building. Okay. Oh, come on. There's only two left. Prove my love to you. All right. Alright, I'm done with you. I'm done. And that was pretty good, like, on the eggs. I guess I should have just used four. But I used five. Girl, I need your love. I'm never gonna have it. <laughs> Oops. That's why I sweep them up every day. All right, so these freaking breadcrumbs will not. You know what? Let's double dip this one. See what the fuck happens. Sorry, I cursed. Ugh, come on. Yes, you can tell I'm exhausted. I am. All right, so that's a double dip. Double dip. Ugh. And the last of the breadcrumbs. Still not sticking. Alright. Let's try this bitch. Alright. Oh, hallelujah. Fuck out of my face. All of you. Everybody. Ugh. All right. Close. Oh wait, <laughs> I still need this guy. <sighs> yeah, the dirty, messy end. All bubbly and weird. 
And this is the olive oil. Huh. Okay. Alright. You can act all the a-hole you want. Still gonna cook, bitch. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So in my experience, your oil gets all bubbly and the last batch ends up weird, but it's <laughs> still sure delicious. And I added the salt on both of them. And I I don't know. That's the final product, folks. Mmm. very good but I'm thinking like after you do so much you got to change the oil and then put in the last batch hmm well, I told you guys I'll share my mistakes so there you have it this thing full of dishes <laughs> love you bye all I can say is it's cleaned up it was a tough cleanup a little bit of a tough cleanup but I'm exhausted after that fish tank thing. But all I got to say is if you don't want a hair in your food or somebody that wiped their ass and is storing their food with their hands or <coughs> um, God knows somebody spitting in your food, whatever, make your own damn food. It ain't that freaking hard. And so what? You get some exercise cleaning up. And I got eggplants last me forever, but I'm going to share with the neighbors, so, and it's delicious. So it took me a little bit, but at least it's clean. I don't trust, I, I cooked, I cooked all my life. I cooked in many places and I've seen them, never mind. But anyway, you guys get the point. So, chop up your eggplant, have a good time. Love you, bye. Yeah. Seriously, all cleaned up and you ain't got to worry about it because somebody with a pure heart made your food, which would only be you because if you trust people at restaurants and stuff, <laughs> I feel really bad for you. Yeah, can't beat that. Let's look for catfish, dude. Oh. Still not around. What happened to this dude? It's insane. I mean, it's not like he's like... He's... He's like... He's huge. So, like, I have no idea where he is. Alright. Alright, folks. <laughs> Yeah, of course I don't sleep. I'm happy. I killed my clover, poor thing. Can't find the catfish. Happy. Yeah, I gotta change my cat litter, whatever. Do that when I get back. I gotta go smoke outside. But yes. Make your own freaking food. Learn how and do it. If you need to know how, ask me any question in the comments, man. I'll tell you how to cook anything, man. Anything. Man, woman, lady. You know, I ain't even dealing with this gender BS. Just, if you if you need a question or whatever of how to cook something, just freaking ask me. I'll tell you. 